friends. It is good to see you safe and well. I will admit I had not counted on you seeking, let alone finding refuge within the Holy See, but full glad was I to learn that you had. Thankfully, we had allies there who took us under their wing, and theirs was not the only aid we receive, I suspect. When we fled Uldar, we fully expected to become wanted men, known to all and hounded at every turn. Yet that did not come to pass. On the contrary, it would seem the charges against us have not been made public. Might we have you to thank for that, Admiral? Sharp as ever, Master Elfino. On Marshal Terrapin's urging, the Elder Seed Seer and I demanded that the Syndicate suppress news of the Scion's alleged crimes until such time as irrefutable evidence could be found. Our argument was simple. Lacking proof to accuse the saviors of the realm of so unlikely a crime would have the people up in arms. In their wisdom, the Syndicate agreed, as you yourself have seen. There is something you should know. Some few days prior to the banquet, the Elder Seedseer and I were summoned for a private audience with the Sultana. There, she revealed her intent to announce her abdication, that she might pave the way for the establishment of an Uldan Republic. What? But such an announcement would have plunged the entire nation into chaos. She was well aware of that. It was for fear of what might ensue that she summoned us. Her Grace wanted the Elder Seedseer and I to lend Raubarn a helping hand, you see? To aid him in preserving the peace during the transition. So, having somehow caught wind of her plan, Lollarito and Teleji plotted the Sultana's assassination in the hope of maintaining the constitutional status quo. But they must have known that her death would sow as much chaos as her abdication. Chaos from which Teleji alone might feasibly stand to profit. Surely Lollarito would never knowingly... Ah! Could it be? I dare not hope. The Uldan authorities have yet to announce the Sultana's passing. To allay any suspicion that may arise from Her Grace's absence, they have issued a statement to the effect that she is presently convalescing from illness. Mayhap they're waiting for a fitting moment to break the news. Or mayhap they know of some other reason to delay. Something else has been bothering me, Admiral. I was dismayed to learn that General Raubarn is to be executed. Yet upon hearing the news, I could not help but wonder why he had been kept alive for so long. Pray mistake not my meaning. I am, of course, overjoyed that our friend still draws breath and that he might yet be saved. But if his enemies truly wished to eliminate him, they could have done so immediately. I see no reason for this delay. Aye, you've struck upon an important point, Master Alphano. Following his capture, Raubarn had been held in the Marasaja pit within Uldar. In recent days, however, he has reportedly been moved to an unknown location. Queerly, it was not the Brass Blades who spirited him away either, but a band of soldiers decked in blue. The Crystal Braves. Aye. If I read the Windsor right, the arrangement between Lord Lollarito and the Braves has come under strain. 
At any rate, if we're to rescue Raubarn, we'll have to find him first. And you'll be glad to hear that I have already entrusted the task to those best able to see it done. Our friends of Dome Hunt.